Hello everyone. Today let's solve the problem related to an Eulerian path and circuit with the Hill Rogers algorithm. In an Eulerian graph, every edge will be visited only once. To find out whether a graph is an Eulerian graph or a circuit, you have to figure out how many order vertices it has. So all the vertex means the vertex has all number edges connected with. If all vertices have even number edges, the graph is an Eulerian circuit. If there are two order vertices, it is an Eulerian path. Otherwise, it is not an Eulerian graph. Besides, for the two order vertices, the starting vertex is a vertex having one more outlet than the inlet edges. The ending vertex is a one with one less inlet than outlet edges. Now let's talk about Hill-Rogers algorithm. On an Eulerian circuit, you can start from any vertex and end on the same vertex. For this given example, all vertices have two edges except vertex 1, which has four edges, so there exists an Eulerian circuit. If we choose vertex 5 to start, as soon as we take the edge from vertex 5 to vertex 0, vertex 5 will only left with one inlet edge. But all others still have even edges. Based upon what I just said before, this vertex 5 must also be the ending point. Therefore, for sure, we will find a circuit. So the Hill-Rogers algorithm operates like this. Choose any one of the vertices on the graph as the starting point and find the circuit. For example, we start from vertex 0. and found the circuit 0, 1, 4, 5, and back to 0. Next, look at the vertices of the found circuit sequentially and see if there exists a, a circuit on any vertex. If there is a circuit, insert the circuit to the found circuit. In this example, so we look at first look at the zero, there is no another circuit, and then we look at the vertex one. We found vertex one in another circuit is two, three, and back to one. So insert this circuit to the previous found circuit. Last, we repeat the procedure 2 to exhaust all vertices on the graph. In this example, besides vertex 1, there is no any other vertex on the other circuit. So the final result for this example will be 0, 1, 2, 3, back to 1, and then go to the vertex 4, 5, and back to zero. Now let's look at the code. To find the Eulerian path circuit for the traveler, we are going to call the find the itinerary method. The first thing we want to do is to convert the ads list to the graph dictionary data structure. The build graph from edge list method is very straightforward. Loop over and unpack all vertices from the edge list and save them in the dictionary data structure. Vertices are the dictionary keys and their values are the vertices that connect with these keys. Back to the main method, the next thing is to verify that an Eulerian path or circuit exists. To do that, we need to count the number of all the vertices. Once we know that, we can verify that the graph is a good candidate for a learning path circuit.
Here we are looking at the method which counts the number of all the vertices. The is Eulerian path or circuit method is very simple. Simply loop over all edges in the graph and then increment that all the degree vertices count. For the graph has the Eulerian path, the found start and the vertices keep track of the start vertex and the end vertex. To apply Herodotus algorithm, an edge between the start and the end vertices need to be added for the Eulerian path case. Coming back to the main method, we use three lists and one dictionary as a variables for Herodotus algorithm which are result, the output list, path, the list of the circuit found from the current vertex, circuit, the list of the current all found circuit, and alt edge count, the dictionary of the vertex containing visited outgoing edge count, the Y loop loops why the current circuit still contains a vertex, Inside this Y loop, there are two Y loops. The first Y loop loops why this vertex still has outgoing and visited edges and create a new found circuit. The second Y loop is used to insert the new found circuit into the current circuit. The circuit list serves two function. First, store all current found circuit. Second, keeps track of the sequence of the visited vertices. For the Eulerian pass, we need to do one more step, remove the edit and to start edge. The one last thing we have to do is to make sure our graph is fully connected before output the final result. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe. See you next episode.